Recently, Max and Min's school was visited by a small group of Aboriginal musicians who played their traditional instruments the didgeridoo, the bull roarer, and the gum leaf. Min had a go at playing the didgeridoo by blowing into it. Max noticed that some didgeridoos were longer or fatter than others, and this difference in size affected the sounds they made. The longest ones came up to about the top of Max's head, the shortest ones came up to about his shoulders. Max decided to compare the lengths of the didgeridoos by using his hands to measure them. He joined his hands together along the didgeridoos like this. The longest one was about seven hands long. The shortest one was about four hands long. Using his hands to measure reminded Max of the time he and Min measured and compared the playgrounds near their home by stepping out their length and width. Back in their classroom, Max used his hands again, this time to measure the length of the teacher's desk, which was about nine hands long. There was a yellow sheet of paper on the desk, which Max wanted to measure also. However, it was too small to use his hands for measuring. So instead, Max used a USB stick that he had in his pocket. He marked the paper with a pencil, then moved the USB stick up each time like this. The yellow sheet was just over seven USB sticks long. Min found a box of paper clips and placed them end to end to measure the paper again, just like this. Min found that the yellow sheet was just over 12 paper clips long. They understood that more paper clips than USB sticks were needed because the paper clips were smaller. Practice measuring the length of things by stepping out large objects such as your home, by using your hands or feet for smaller things such as a table, or by using a USB stick or paper clips to measure smaller objects such as a book. You can watch this video again or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.